Well, hey y'all, welcome to Southern G-More Gals. I'm Elizabeth, and we've got five under five Halloween DIYs that are all super cute and budget friendly. So here we go. DIY number one is a super fast DIY. So I purchased a sign from the Dollar Tree and all I did was paint, bless this house. I painted over that with some black paint to cover that up. I purchased these little wooden jack-o'-lantern stickers from the Dollar Tree and there were several on the sheet. This is one of the larger ones. Some of them had some glitter there you could see on the other side, but all I did was turn that over and paint it. Then I took some of that E6000 glue and just glued that onto my little frame. Super easy now, isn't it? And then I took some black paint and a little chunky brush and just kind of went around the, the edging part here where it's white just to kind of blend in some of that black. And then I'm going to take one of the little wooden squares or the little wooden cubes from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue that onto the back to have this to stand up and that's it. So, so simple, only $2. What a great little Halloween DIY. And he's really a little cutie. So we're gonna move on to DIY number two. So these are all about fast, simple, but really cute. So this is a really cute DIY. I purchased this wooden circle from Walmart. It was a dollar in their paint and craft section. And all I did was paint it the pumpkin shade of Waverly chalk paint. And then I'm taking that big chunky brush and just using some black and kind of blending it in for those Halloween colors. And I found this little owl. Now, isn't he so sweet? I thought he was so cute. But I found him at Walmart and I think it was only like 60 some cent. And he was already painted like that. So he's really cute. And then I found this little wooden Halloween happy Halloween that came in a pack from the Dollar Tree I think there's three of those in a pack and I'm going to use one in this DIY and then I'm going to use one at the end too so all I did was I took some of the E6000 glue and I'm going to glue my little owl onto my circle and to make him stand up, I'm just using one of these little wooden cubes again from the Dollar Tree. And I had to move this around a little bit just where it's a circle. It's a little bit harder to get it right in the right place. So you may have to play around with this. I used two on the back of him. Um, I tried three and that didn't work real well. So you may have to just play around to get him to stand up good. But here's my little owl. Now, isn't he sweet? Now, I took some gray paint and painted the jack-o'-lantern and then went around his face with like some little stitching of black paint. And I took some of that gray and kind of speckled it onto the Happy Halloween just to blend those colors in. And I think he turned out so cute. I just love him. You don't see a lot of owls for Halloween, but I love owls on Halloween. Um, and this only costs you know, under $3 to make. So this is my next DIY. Now, I found this little tablecloth from a Dollar Tree, and it has some really cute, like, vintage pictures on here is, is kind of what came to my mind. Um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two of the pumpkins out and the witch. I thought they really had that vintage look, but not the witch is kind of cute looking. She's not real spooky or scary. Um, but I have these little wooden squares from the Dollar Tree. They came in a six pack and I'm going to use three of those. And all I'm going to do is the pumpkin looks great. I love the way this looks on the wood. I was originally going to paint it like black or gray. I thought, no, no, <laughs> it looks so good up against it. So I'm just using some Mod Podge and I'm going to paint. You want to put a, a nice amount on here. So I'm applying that to the back side and then we're going to flip it over and apply that to the front side. You want to just, you know, have to take a little time to cut your, um, you know, whichever pictures you're going to use out because this, you know, is just a really thin plastic tablecloth. So um, you want to be sure you get your lines real straight and then you get that. Um, most of them have a little bit of a black edging around the picture. Um, so you just want to be sure that you get that cut out when you're cutting them out. So I'm just going to place this onto my wooden piece and then you'll either use your, I just use my hand, you can use your hands or a roller or, or something to smooth over top of it just to get any air or any bubbles out from underneath it. And then I'm going to go over the top of it with some of the Mod Podge again. You want to be sure you put a nice amount on here and this looks white right now, but it will dry clear. You won't be able to see that white on here once it dries, but it'll um, adhere to the wood. It'll hold that in place great. Um, just be sure you go around your edges real good. And I'm going to do this to all three of the pieces. 
and we decided to put the witch on a black background. I thought she showed up a little bit better. Again, I'm just using some of these little cubes from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use my hot glue gun. And I'm just putting one cube on the back. You want to put that right close to the bottom when you're gluing it on here. These have a great vintage look if you like that kind of um, vintage look or older kind of pictures for Halloween. The, I just love the pumpkin, I think, is, the, is my favorite one. And there's a couple other pictures on here. There's a spider and a skull, but these were my favorite. Um, here they are. Here's my final reveal here. These look great really simple you know depending two to three dollars depending on the way you look at you know buying the pack of cubes but i'm going to use those on all my diys today so let's move on to our next diy so we're in five under five challenge today so we want to say thanks to these ladies for hosting the challenge their information and their channel links are listed down in our description box and I also have the playlist of the other YouTubers participating in the challenge listed down in my description box. So a big shout out to Missy from Crafty Cove and Michelle from Moxie DIY and Java and then Emily from Farm Charm Chic. So let's move on to our next DIY. Now this is a little metal pumpkin that I found from the Dollar Tree. He has two little holes in the top. He had a little piece of twine there. I just cut that off. And we um, had a little bit of a fight here trying to get those holes filled in. I got the one on the right side to fill in and painted it. And the one on the left, it just... <laughs> too bad because he's got a hole in him because I could not get that to fill in and I got tired of fighting it um, but we're going to cover that up so you're not going to see him anyway but all I'm going to do here is I'm taking some black paint and a really stiff paintbrush, and I'm just making like some little stitching around his mouth eyes and his nose and here's a little closer look at him so you can see. And there you can see where one side's filled in and one side is not. But that's okay. <laughs> so there's his stitching. And next what we're going to do, we're going to um, use those cubes again. I did paint these black. Um, and then I used one on each side. I just put some, a little bit of glue on the inside um, with my glue gun just so he can stand up. And now we're going to decorate him some. And I found this really cool pack of floral items from the Dollar Tree. It just has black and silver in here. It has some black leaves and silver. So that's what I used on him. I just used my glue gun. I glued a couple of those leaves on the top with a little bit of the beads. And then the longer pieces was actually some orange floral stuff I had left from the Dollar Tree last year. And I just spray painted it black. And I think he would look really cute with a candle in the back of him. Just kind of up, you know, place one in the back and have him kind of glow in a night. But he's really cute. So one more DIY. Now this one is one of the Thanksgiving signs from the Dollar Tree. I'm just flipping it over, taking those staples out on the top, and then I spray painted it a light gray. And then I'm using one of these little like pumpkin plates from the Dollar Tree. And I used the Waverly chalk paint, the pumpkin. I just painted him. And then I made a little face on him with some yellow. Again, I used the black stitching and went around his eyes, nose, and mouth. And I painted his little stem there brown. And I had to paint him a couple times to get him to cover good. And then all I did was use my glue gun glued him onto the sign and this is that happy halloween that i used in my owl diy this is another one that came in a pack because i think there was three of those and i just cut the pumpkin off of there i just cut the little jack-o-lantern off um the h split just a little bit but um i spray painted it black and then used my glue gun to glue it on here i just used a couple little pieces of raffia there in the top and a couple little leaves and he looks really cute so all of these are super fast and easy and everything is five under five now here's everything together. I hope we inspired you to make some Halloween decor and that you can make some really cute things that are fast and easy on a budget. And um, leave me a comment. Let me know which one you like the best. I think the little owl, he's probably my favorite. <laughs> or the little wooden pumpkins, but I like the metal one too. So I really can't decide. And these will go great with some of the other Halloween um, things that we've already made. If you're new to my channel, Southern G More Gals, I'd love to have you subscribe, turn your notifications on. You can also follow us on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm new to that, so I'm trying to make some TikToks. Um, again, check out the playlist of the other YouTubers participating in the challenge. And then we have the links to the host from the challenge for Emily, Michelle, and Missy. 
and we'll have a thrift flip video. I'm collaborating with the Rusted Willow. That will be October the 21st. I also have some links down in the description box if you want to check out some of our other budget-friendly DIYs, and we have lots of thrift flip videos as well down in my description box and on my channel. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you leave me a comment, I try to respond to all my comments. Thanks for watching again. Hope everyone has a great fall.